Good morning, and welcome to Aurora Central High School's Convocation. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and those of you tuning in from home, I present to you members of the graduating class of 2021. Thank you, Ms. Iverson and the Aurora Central High School Choir. Today's ceremony is about you and for you. Through the years, you have gotten to know one another and have created lifelong friendships. You have been there for each other through the good times and the bad. You have defined not just by how you have celebrated the victories, but also by how you have come together during the challenges as well. To get here, you've had the help of your families, friends, 
teachers over the years. So this celebration is also for them. In addition to celebrating the successes of your fellow classmates, you will be enjoying a showcase of talent and presentations of stories which commemorate your time over these past four years. Aurora Central's mission was to shape the global leaders who have the knowledge, skills, and habits of mind necessary to shape a successful future. And I believe you have achieved that. Please welcome our first student speaker and your senior class president, Nancy Dorado. situations head on with only a heart eager for changes and a mind that shielded myself from acting through my emotions. We struggle, we accomplish, we live. Through every obstacle we persevere. Everyone has their own struggles but everything plays out in the end. Sometimes things don't go our way in life and we tend to question why. However, being a good person and the things you do are not a shield from the bad things that happen in this world. Acknowledge that you're not broken no matter how hard you've been kicked and beat on the ground. The odds may be against us sometimes, but that doesn't mean you let the circumstances dominate you and the way you live. If it was a moment of weakness then, it'll be a moment of strength now. As we continue to find our true callings and choose different paths in life, don't forget where you come from. Whatever you consider that to be, whether you refer your roots to your culture, hometown, family, or anything else, don't forget what is in the center of your heart. In a lifelong journey of triumph and defeat, the only person we have every single day, win or lose, is ourselves. Therefore, never lose track of who you truly are. In a world full of judgment and stereotypical lifestyles, be who you truly are and say everything it is that you feel. Wear your, co your true colors on your sleeve like it's meant to be a part of your outfit. Love those around you like you've never known hate and learn to appreciate the little things. The little things, even the smallest gesture, count up all of them and you realize these things occur in your path more often than we care to observe. We get so busy and caught up stressing about materialistic, unbeneficial, and minimal things that we fail to realize what beautiful things we're missing every single day. Things won't always go your way, even when you pray on it, manifest it, and beg the universe to give you it. If it's not meant for you, it will not come. However, maybe throughout that process, you realize what you wanted so badly was never what you needed. Everyone has begun carving their own path and life journey. Although we will face different things, don't forget that if you take it one day at a time, you'll be further in the journey than you were yesterday. One day at a time, an extra step only when you're ready will get to where you need to be. A pace and distance that was constructed only for your story and what's meant for you. Be like the weeds that grow between the crack and the cement. Reckless and brave because they don't know they're not supposed to grow there. However, they still sprout and develop in an environment that they didn't anticipate. The world will shake you countless times and will leave you grasping onto the last bit of hope. But don't ever let it break you completely. You will be yanked from the ground like many accustomed to do with flowers and weeds. However, love yourself to, and enough to know wherever your place next, you'll still be able to bloom. Show the world what you're capable of in everything you do. We all have potential. It's just about learning to apply it. Take your time learning, forgiving, and loving yourself, even if you have to start over a few times. No matter what this world tries to restrict you from doing, Listen to your heart and act reasonably with your mind. I hope everyone accomplishes their hopes and dreams, regardless of what path you take. Be proud of where you've gotten. All paths are respected and acknowledged. Don't ever forget who's staring back in the mirror, no matter how life changes. Love the person that will be with you forever. 
forever. And no matter what you truly believe and aspire, dedicate yourself to your goals and stay ambitious. May graduating be one of the biggest blessings you guys receive in your lifetime. And congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Nancy. Now welcome the Trojanaires, who will be performing their musical dedication, Rise Up.
Miss Iris and, and the Trojan Harris for dedicating that song to the class of 2021. We would now like to welcome the Executive Director of Aurora Public Schools Foundation, Jill Ryder, for a special scholarship presentation. My name is Jill Ryder and I'm the Executive Director for the Aurora Public Schools Foundation and I'm excited to join you today to award some well-deserving students with some great scholarships. Before we get there, I wanted to share that the Aurora Public Schools Foundation exists to make possibility a reality for every APS student. And part of our effort to do that, we want to make sure students are ready for their career bound or college and workforce bound future. So we've done that by establishing college and career centers similar to the one at Aurora Central in all APS high schools. And I'm thrilled to share that as of next school year, we will open the final centers and be operating in 100% of our high schools here in APS. Since inception, since we've been working on this since 2014, we've supported more than 15,000 seniors and other high school students and helped them uh, accumulate more than $98 million in scholarships. And that does not include the class of 2021. Uh, so we know that that number is certainly gonna go up. Um, today, I'm honored to present the Foundation's Managed Scholarships to some very deserving students. First up, the Dorothy Osborne Berry Education Fund Scholarship. It was established to support APS female students who have overcome obstacles in their lives and are determined to change their direction and better themselves by pursuing a course of education or training that will help them become more self-reliant. Today, the scholarship is awarded to Roxette de Jesus Romero. Roxette was chosen for this award because of her drive to receive a second chance. Through very personal experiences as a first-generation American and food vendor in Aurora, she has learned how to persevere, just like her mother has. She plans to attend the University of Southern California in the fall and become a medical physician. Congratulations. The Gherkin Family Expository Writing Scholarship is given to writers who create a strong single effect in their audience through various types of expository pieces. Today, this scholarship is awarded to Bewinet Henry. His passion for neuroscience and psychology, and he has been, and that has been since he was diagnosed with uh, con conversion disorder, a neurological disorder, and started researching and learning more about the brain. Bewinet states, I want to help people, I want to help those people and contribute more to our knowledge of, of the human mind. Receiving this scholarship Will allow me to pursue my passion. Congratulations. The Kristen D. Hizza Memorial Scholarship was established in honor of Kristen's courageous spirit, her love for life, and dedication to teaching and making a positive impact on the lives of her students and fellow educators. Today, the scholarship is also awarded to Bewinette Seymour. And finally, the Myrtle Replage Travis and Russell Romain Travis Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually to a graduating senior at Aurora Central High School. This year's recipient is Najoba Thiem. Najoba quotes Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. She's been accepted to the University of Northern Colorado where she plans to study business and technology. Najoba also shows excellent community service by participating in student government, volunteering at the Islamic Relief USA event, basketball, swimming, and gymnastics. Congratulations to all of our scholarship recipients today and to the class of 2021 on all of your accomplishments. Next, we would like to welcome Athletic Secretary Jocelyn Batu Medina, class of 2014, who will be speaking on behalf of the Aurora Central alumni, Gene Young and his family. Let me apologize, the live stream stopped working, but we are recording, so we will be posting this afterwards. Um, this is a message from the Yan family. First, thank you to all the students who submitted their applications for the inaugural Jean Yan Memorial Scholarship. The recipients of the Jean Yan Memorial Scholarship were selected by the Yan family 
and extended family with support from the Aurora Central Athletic Department. And it was a pleasure to read your essays and hear more about how you are working to achieve your goals. It has not been an easy few years and the class of 2021 has had to overcome some unexpected obstacles. And for that alone, you should be commended. Jean taught and coached for 22 years at Aurora Central High School and loved being part of this community. Both of the 2021 Memorial Scholarship recipients expressed pride in this community and how it shaped their high school experience. We are very proud to honor both of these women for this award. Their leadership, determination, perseverance, and athletic commitment mirror what Jean stood for and spent his, his career emulating. You both showed this in your essays. You show up, you work hard, and you continue to strive to do things the right way. That is something that Gene continued to focus on through his life and his career. And we thank you for continuing that tradition. Thank you and congratulations to both of you. We would love to continue to hear how you are doing and wish you continued success. This year's Gene Young Memorial Scholarship recipients are Zoe Ingram and Sean Salvatore. Next, we would like to welcome Steve Hesser on behalf of the Aurora Central Alumni Association for a special scholarship presentation. Thank you. I'd first like to uh, extend a special thanks to uh, Principal De La Garza, uh, Assistant Principal Harrison, um, and the entire staff for doing an incredible job this year. Obviously, a lot of challenges that they faced and they've never wavered and congratulations to all. And a special thanks to uh, Jordan Bills at the College and Career Center for all the, the work that she's done with the Alumni Association. Um, as, a, as a former student um, a while ago and coach and current president of the Alumni Association, it's always great to, to be able to share outstanding events that, that happened at the school. A lot of times you get uh, comments like, what's going on with Central? If you hear something negative, it seems to fester. But, you know, the past few years, there's been nothing but great stories to share with the alumni. And we're talking over 4,000 strong in our alumni association. So to be able to share these types of success stories and the things that are happening here at the school, uh, it's just, it's so beneficial. And uh, we're able to work close with the school and uh, contribute where we can. So, um, sitting where you did many years ago, I, I'm probably thinking the same thing you were, you are now. That okay, just say what you need to say and get off the stage. Let's get going here, get this over with. So, um, we'd like we'd like to uh, award. Uh, we actually had one. We normally award one scholarship uh, per year. But with the, all the entries this year, with all the voters that uh, reviewed it, uh, we had a matching donation. We're able to uh, announce two scholarships this year. Um, I'm extremely proud to, to announce these two young ladies. Uh, our first um, scholarship goes out to Joanna Padilla Zapata. <laughs>
Over 400,000 of this money was from scholarships earned by Roxette de Jesus from Maryland. And right now, if you have received a scholarship of any kind, please stand up so we can recognize you. At this time, please welcome Mr. De La Garza and the club sponsors who will be acknowledging the honors reg regular that these seniors have earned. Seniors, when you hear your name, please stand at your seat and be recognized. Continue standing until all names are called. Audience, refrain from applauding until all names are read. Principal De La Garza, the floor is yours. Hang in there. Um, so the streaming stopped. So the, does that mean we get to edit this and make sure I look better than Tim when this goes back out, right? Okay. Uh, so last night um, I had the honor, the privilege to uh, recognize the uh, top 10 students from Aurora Central High School. They were recognized at the um, stadium, the Aurora Public School Stadium last night with 60 other seniors from um, Aurora Public Schools. So our top 10 are part of that, you know, 70 students that are the best here in Aurora Public Schools. Uh, so I would like to take this opportunity to uh, present those to the graduating class of 2021. So these students have earned the highest cumulative GPA and have ended the school year as your top 10. So, number 10 is Gustavo Torresias. <laughs> number 9, and we've already acknowledged her for winning all these scholarships, Roxette de Jesus Coming <laughs> in at number 8 was Joanna Padilla. Coming in at number seven is Mark Reyes. <laughs> at number six was Benito Mejia. <laughs> now our top five, at number five was Arthur Veloz Marin. Four, we have Baywanet Samu. <laughs> At number three, Kimberly Blanco. <laughs> and at number two, in your salutatorium, Diana Arugo. <laughs> and coming in at number one, and your salute and your valedictorian, I'm sorry, is Jimena Sanchez. <laughs> Amazing group of students, and they represented your class last night. Um, so let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> Next, we will have Ms. Helper, who will present the highest academic honor for us. Hi, I'm Vicki Helper. I'm one of the school counselors here. Um, and this next group of seniors are those who have earned the distinction of highest academic honors. They've earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 and above. They have been awarded a gold cord. When I read your name, will the following outstanding seniors please stand? Jimena Sanchez. <laughs> Diana Arago. <laughs> Kimberly Blanco. <laughs> Bayonet Simu. <laughs> Arthur Bellos Marin. Benito Mejia. Roxette de Jesus. 
Ana Torresias. Ajane Lustrick. Elmer Cruz Mendoza. Alyssa Casillas. Mariana Robles. Nancy Dorado Madero. Daniela Aguilera. Abraham Gutierrez. Juan Ortega Garcia. And Alejandro Zaragoza Escobar. And next we will have Ms. Portal present the highest or high academic honor. They've earned a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89. They've been awarded a silver cord. Will the following seniors please stand? Alondra Cano. The 
next group of seniors are those that have met all the requirements of the National Honor Society. They have been awarded a purple cord. Will the following outstanding seniors please stand? Joanna Padilla. students, or that the next group of seniors are those who have met all the requirements of the Trium Music Honor Society. They have been awarded a pink cord. Will the following outstanding seniors please stand? Daniela Avila. Students have met those requirements in Spanish, 
French, Wolof, and Chakese. They have been awarded with a red, white, and yellow cord. Will the following students, outstanding seniors, please stand? We need the qualifications in Spanish and English. Jose Corral, our student council, student body leadership, and they've been awarded with a light blue cord. Will the following outstanding seniors please stand up? Nancy Jerome. Science Academy and the Health Occupation Student Association. 
They have been awarded the teal cord for those students in lights and the teal and silver for HOSA. Will the following outstanding seniors please stand? For the Aurora Lights, <clears throat> Roxanne Sanders is the winner. Camilla Sanchez. Arthur Villoch Marin. Samantha Rico Chavez. Daniela Delarita. Although much of today has been a celebration of your successes, we would, like, we would be remiss to leave out the others who have been a part of your lives up to this point. It took a community to raise you, to be who you are today. So we can have, so can we have parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, uncles, aunts, and guardians stand. Um, graduates, please uh, take the time. Um, make sure you let those people who have brought you to this point, uh, let them know how much this means to you, how much them being by your side means to you. Um, I'm going to be honest, this script was made in a uh, thought form. People are going to be here, but everyone hates COVID, so. <laughs> uh, so your journey of high school is coming to an end, and you are no longer seniors. Once you are designated as such, you will become the graduating candidates until your diplomas are conferred, and then you'll become graduates on June 29th. Principal De La Garza, I think they're good to go. Can we uh, certify them now? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Walter. Um, so, I know when you walked into these doors, you know, as freshmen, I know this is not the way you plan to go out as seniors. Um, this last year and a half has been more than difficult for you as seniors here at Aurora Central High School. I do want to take a moment though to just recognize and thank you for all of your hard work in sticking with it. Let's give these seniors a round of applause. The, the challenges that you have had to overcome, you know, to figure out, you know, how to do all of this work with all of these Google Meets, Google Classrooms, Zoom meetings, all of this crazy stuff that, you know, we had no idea that we would have to uh, do school this way. You have met that challenge, you have persevered, and you are here now. So my hats are off, my hat is off to you. Kudos to you as you move on, you know, whatever it may be, you know, going to college, going into the workforce, you have met this challenge. So any challenge that will be in front of you, I have no doubt that you will meet that challenge and you will beat that challenge and continue to be successful the way you have been successful here at Aurora Central. So thank you to everyone for being here today. And congratulations to the class of 2021. I hereby certify the candidacy of this graduating class. So thank you for coming. And to those of you that are out there watching this, um, thank you for taking the time to celebrate here with us. 
And don't forget to join our graduating class at the Aurora Public School Stadium on 9 a.m. on Tuesday, June 29th. Again, congratulations, class of 21. We are very, very proud of you. Woo!